And on that highlight reel, how many times did you see number 51 blowing up a, uh, uh, a screenplay or standing up as a stand-up nose guard? I mean, that, that's 170 pounds of heart. <laughs> Uh, I first want to say uh, thanks to Ted for a great job from all of us. I have to write things down. I think too many games with you know, the concussion thing. We didn't know about it back then. But I think we have to uh, account for that somehow. You know, I, I think we were very fortunate. We, you know, I'm very fortunate myself to be coaching and you talk about football and you always talk about, uh, or any sport for that matter, you talk about athletes and talent. And uh, I think in my mind, what we had, a, very fortunate to be a part of at Brother Rice, was we had tremendous coaching talent. And I speak for, <coughs> excuse me, primarily the juniors and the seniors who had the good fortune to have Dave Yeager as our coach in our freshman year, which was just a special, special thing. And then, of course, on the coach uh, after that. In my mind, uh, I think coach had the following talents. He, first of all, was tremendous at preparing us mentally and uh, physically. He turned us into a team that was confident based on our, our, our preparation, but not cocky. We had Hendricks for that. <laughs> he, he, he despised that, by the way. Our conditioning, I think Coach was ahead of his time. It was expertly thought out. He had the ability to push us to the brink and know exactly when he needed to kind of pull back. So we were at our best at game time and especially in the fourth quarter. I think if you guys think back, we, we always were, as the other team was starting to kind of, you know, lose their conditioning level, we were coming on and we would kind of, that's when we would especially take things up. So I think that was something that he did unbelievably well. He created, I think, secondly, a, a vivid picture for us of where we could go and what we could achieve if we worked hard and played as a team. I, you know, I'm in coaching, and I was inspired by the guys that I was coached by, obviously. And I think a great coach is defined as somebody who takes you to a place where you couldn't take yourself. And I think that's what we were very privileged to be part of here. And I think, I think the last thing was, you know, we had tremendous intensity and focus, but I think the other thing that just separated coach, and I think I can speak to this because I was a guy who went off to college and I played for three coaches in five years um, when I was in college. We had that intensity and focus, but we still had the ability, and I think coach is at the heart of this, we, he had a great sense of humor. And we had the ability to laugh and have fun together. And we had great relationships on our team, and they were fostered by Coach Fracasa. Uh, Coach was, and I think still is, funny. And uh, he imitated all of us sometimes. And uh, can you say beagle? Can you say termites? Can you say moonster? Uh, can you say turd bird? <laughs> can you say beep beep screw you? <laughs> can you say poodle? I mean, uh, and, and you know that Coach had many, many other nicknames for us. And, what's that? Yeah, you name it, we had it. But, uh, you know, I, I think about it often. It's a, a motivation for me um, going on the field with you guys. And it was, I'm telling you, it was, there was nothing like it. And uh, I just think everybody was on board, and we were all together, and uh, we were all in. We were all prepared, and we played for each other. And uh, I just, I, I, I tell this to my own team. We had great confidence, but it wasn't cockiness. And uh, Coach used to say to us, any time, any place, anywhere, because people would come up and talk to us, and they would say, we'll kick your ass. And Coach would say, look him in the eye and tell him thank you very much. And we would say, any time, any place, anywhere. And, and you know, Coach said that. It's 
pretty serious. You know, you took him seriously. Um, I know many of us have talked here today in the last little bit, and uh, it's been, uh, you know, we went off, some of us, and had the good fortune to go play in college, but I don't think any of us um, can replicate what we had here. It's just amazing. And you go to Ted doing the great job and getting us all started, and you see all the emails come out. And we just picked up right where we left off. It was fantastic. And uh, it's just something so special. And, and for that, we thank you, Coach. We thank you, Dave. It's just uh, Mr. Mrs. Popson, you know, Dr. Malfitano, all the people who we had the great good fortune to be so close to. And it's just a, a special, special time. I, I tell my team all the time, I, <laughs> Coach, we won last night, and we give ourselves a chance to go to the playoffs if we win next week. And I said, you know, if you guys have the, you know, thought in your heart, come over to Berkeley today to see a bunch of old farts get recognized. But I said, I want that so badly for you because it is the greatest thing that you'll ever experience. I mean, you can go play college and pro and, I, you know, go on a little bit here. But I had the opportunity. We had a thing at my school where we honored someone and we had Frank Gifford come in. Of course, Frank Gifford was a great All-American at USC and went on to the New York Giants. And what he talked about was his high school team and how he, he would never forget every one of those guys. Every one of those guys. That was the people he remembered in you know, his great career and his great career in broadcasting. I think it was his high school teammates who he remembered. And uh, just unbelievable. So uh, we all thank you. Uh, we had, I mean, you cannot, you cannot underestimate the group of people we put together. I mean, Ted and I and Maddie Lyons and Jay, and Lenny, we came from St. B's and basically we got our ass kicked every year by St. Regis who marched the damn army out there and kicked the shit out of us. But you know what? When the good, the, good, the good part about it was we came over here and they were our teammates all of a sudden, Kevin and all these guys, and it was like, man, this is pretty good. You know, these guys are now our teammates and uh, we got a lot of confidence from that. And uh, we had two just great classes go together, and then we had our our super sophomores with Tex and, and Kevin and Wilbo and, and Naughton. I think I'm getting them all, is that all? Right. And Kevin and Ryan, Ryan, yeah, of course. And then of course we had our little special guy, Joey Fine, who was uh, our little freshman and come up and join us. So um, it's just a special thing, and as I said, I'm very fortunate, and, and I think based a lot on the example that I had from Coach and Dave and very big influences in my life too. I, I, I get to coach now and it's the greatest thing in the world and uh, it, it all started for me here. I mean, uh, just a, a, a tremendous, a tremendous thing. So I just thank you. I, I thank all you guys for coming back. It's tremendous and uh, God bless you all. I'm so glad that we could get together.